what's up everybody this is a force of nature spiritual awakening and today we will be discussing lilith and your struggle and your karma so we will be covering lilith and leo lilith and aquarius and lilith and libra which is also going to go for lilith in the fifth house lilith in the 11th house and lilith in the seventh house so let's jump into this we have lilith and leo or in the fifth house People with displacement struggle with narcissism. These men and women may take advantage of weaker-minded individuals by convincing them that they are superior to them. Often these people are talented, but use their talents as a detrimental weapon against others. They may be able to convince others they have some sort of godlike complex and deserve to be worshipped. So these men and women are the type of people that can look at themselves as gods and goddesses, kings and queens, okay? Um, yes, they can convince people of this stuff, but they believe this shit as well. So now what went on and took place in the past life is that these men and women could have been a gambler, they could have been pimps, they could have been pimpettes, or a head of a mafia, or some kind of like a crew or gang in a past life so yes they was um down with the nitty-gritty side of life um they were risk takers okay may even be considered dangerous people um, when you're just thinking about it so if not control people with displacement will one day be revolted against they will live a life of a king or a queen but will receive karma later on in life and all at once. The people that you wronged or did not care about will return to haunt you down the road later on in life. So this person may be executed by an enemy. So you got to be careful with this. Okay. If you do not um, rectify situations, heal yourself from karma, okay, and, and things like that, okay, somebody could off you. Somebody can enter into your life, tarnish your name, okay? Or they might even try to attack you, try to cause you harm or hurt to some degree, okay? These could be the type of people where people are envious of and people don't like, okay, on the low. So please avoid cult-like social groups. Avoid ego-altering drugs, okay? Anything that's going to alter your normal psyche. Volunteer yourself to the less fortunate and stay educated. Okay, so now, as long as you do these things, right? Okay, your chances of being executed and somebody offering you is going to be a little slimmer. Okay, um, we can't guarantee anything. Okay, we just can't do that. Okay, but we know that there are people out there that you have done wrong. Okay, so giving back to the needy, giving back to the homeless, staying away from drug altering um, um, drugs that will alter your mind and also occult like social groups and also stay aware, alert, and educated. Lilith and Aquarius. Lilith in the 11th house. So these men and women with this placement struggle with addictions. Freedom is the most promising thing you can promise this person. It's also the thing that they are most tempted by and give up almost anything just to have it. In a past life, they could have been rebels. They could have been people that was going against the grain, um, protesters, okay? They were not going on with the system, okay? Very much rebels. Um, people could even consider them outcasts, okay? Just from the way that they was moving. So, an unhealthy Lilith and Aquarius or Lilith in the 11th house are often known to practice substance abuse as a form of escapism. They are infatuated by the feeling of escaping. So yes, they can find themselves prone to drinking alcohol, smoking um, weed, popping pills, doing coke, maybe doing crack, uh, maybe even heroin, okay? So these individuals will single-handedly destroy themselves because of an ability to resist these urges 
So now, it's possible their inability to commit to lifestyle and partnerships has poisoned a loved one. Okay? So, they find it difficult to commit um, to just a regular lifestyle. Partnerships can also be difficult when it comes to commitment for them. Okay? They could have been um, deceived by a partner. Okay, and this can bring this shit on. So they may experience stressful situations more than the average individual. They may be plagued by nightmares of losing their liberty. They may encounter scenarios of feeling trapped and deprived of choices. Control this Lilith by living everything in moderation. Remember where you come from or where you came from and avoid addictive habits okay that's what they have to do moving on to the lilith in libra lilith in the seventh house so these people with this placement struggle with deceit they struggle with deceit libras are masters of presenting ugly things in a beautiful light or a beautiful way people with lilith in libra are talented persuaders and cunning in a past life people with displacement could be a scammer a schemer or a con artist they may have had pretended to be someone else to earn the trust and admiration of others while masking their own inner demons and selfish tendencies okay so these could have definitely been schemers and scammers okay they could have been doing real devilish devious things in the past life um they are always somehow able to disguise their poor intention when not controlled people with displacement may find their cells surrounded with relationships with little to no substance connections made with people will turn out to crumble under the force of failed promises and decisions. This person may cheat or be cheated on. Okay, we already know that Lilith and Libra, Lilith in the seventh house, they, it really does speak about that. Okay, partners cheating on you, um, deceiving you, um, you deceiving yourself, okay, thinking it's going to be this and that, and it's not. Okay, um, feeling unappreciative also is something that goes on and takes place with displacement. Okay, lovers from a past life coming to pay you back for what you have done to them in a past life. All of these things take place with this. So these men and women may suffer karma when they no longer have the means to mask their insecurities. So they will suffer um, their karma, okay, when they no longer could keep the mask on their face. Okay, it falls off and things start crumbling. So their true self will be revealed and they will lose all they once had. So they have to avoid material, um, feeling like they have to have a sense of material gains all the time. Learn to tell the truth, okay? Learn to be honest and be more self-aware, okay? This is how you dim that karma shit down. So I'm going to leave this on this note for now. And in future videos to come, I will go more into depth into... Lilith, your struggle, and your karma when it comes to Leo, Libra, and Aquarius. Anybody want to get that chart analyzed, please hit me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. Anybody want to send a super thanks, you are welcome to do so. So my phone number is 516-738-6042. Um, I do have the opposite polarity sale still going on. If anybody's interested, please share the videos, y'all. Please share the videos. And this is a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.